What's going on, NFL fans? Welcome back to Touchdown Kingdom, your hub of all the freshest NFL updates and insights. As we head into week nine of the NFL season, we will be going over some of the biggest trades following the 2023 trade deadline. Before we get into the exciting trades around the league, let's talk about the mayhem in Raider Nation. It's been a chaotic week for the Las Vegas Raiders as they decided to part ways with head coach Josh McDaniels and general manager Dave Ziegler. This doesn't come as a shock with the way that the team has been playing, but the timing of this decision by owner Mark Davis is surprising. As it was announced just hours after the trade deadline, the team continues to make sweeping changes as the Raiders are expected to start backup quarterback Aiden O'Connell in week number nine. Jimmy Garoppolo, the team's biggest acquisition in the offseason, is now headed to the bench after only six starts this season. The Raiders' offense has been tragic, leaving star wide receiver Devontae Adams isolated. The question is, will the Raiders get a second chance after wiping the slate clean, or will they continue down the disastrous ride heading into the second half of the season? And I just want to remind you folks, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy. It really helps out the channel more than you know. Now let's get into the next trade. And this one was the first big move of the trade deadline between the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. The Giants sent Leonard Williams in exchange for a 2024 second round pick and a 2025 fifth round pick. The Giants decided to wave the white flag on this dreadful season by trading away one of their star players and are looking to rebuild next off season. Seattle's acquisition of the veteran lineman beefs up the defensive front, placing them in good position to win. The Seahawks are currently on top of the NFC West at 5-2 and, and are one of the craftiest teams to look out for. I really like the Seattle Seahawks. I also absolutely love this trade for the New York Giants. I think they got great value. This is a win-win trade for both teams. Next up, let's talk about the Buckeyes in the Bay, where Chase Young gets reunited with college teammate Nick Bosa. The Washington Commanders make an interesting move to cut ties with Chase Young in exchange for a 2024 third-round pick. Chase Young was the second overall pick back in 2020 and has some trouble staying healthy throughout his career. This year in 2023, he has consistently gotten to the backfield with five total sacks and 18 quarterback pressures thus far. The 49ers defense should be exciting now having one of the most lethal pass rushing duos in the NFL. Hopefully this will signal a change in direction for the 49ers who are coming off a three game losing streak after looking like an absolute powerhouse starting off the season 5-0. The Philadelphia Eagles traded away safety Terrell Edmonds plus a 2024 fifth and sixth round pick for star safety Kevin Byard. GM Howie Roseman is seemingly active trying to address their holes in the Eagles roster. This 7-1 force of a team has improved their secondary by upgrading to Byard, a two-time All-Pro safety who led the NFL in interceptions back in 2017. The Eagles are working through several injuries at the safety position, giving the opportunity to Bayard to have an immediate impact on this unit. The Philadelphia Eagles just got even better, and the richer they get richer. Next up, we have the Minnesota Vikings, who are looking to restore hope on this season by acquiring quarterback Josh Dobbs from the Arizona Cardinals. Minnesota has made the best of their situation with the brutal loss of Kirk Cousins. The Vikings traded a 2024 6th round pick in exchange for Josh Dobbs and a conditional 24 7th round pick. Minnesota should be considered winners in the public eye for not throwing in the towel on the season. Dobbs now has the chance to prove he can play better with new talent around him. Rookie quarterback out of BYU, Jaron Hall, will get the start this week and he has a chance to prove to be the guy, but the Vikings were smart to go get insurance in case he's not. Josh Dobbs, I'm curious to see what you do if your name is called. Finally, we have the NFL's worst pass rushing defense, the Chicago Bears, trading for Montez Sweat. The Bears traded a 2024 second round pick to the Washington Commanders for defensive lineman Montez Sweat. Acquiring Sweat is a huge addition for Chicago, who has only a 10 sacks and 46 pressures all season long. Montez Sweat is having his best start of his season, however. He is currently on the final year of his rookie contract. Chicago continues to be in the middle of a rebuild and will look to re-sign the 2019-26 overall pick in the offseason. Now that's the only question I have. The Bears, they better extend Montez Sweat for giving up this type of draft capital for him. Because if he walks in free agency after giving up this type of draft capital, I'm not too sure what the Chicago Bears are doing. But if they do extend him long term, I absolutely love this trade for the Chicago Bears. 
That's a wrap on this video for the NFL's biggest moves around the deadline. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below of your favorite trades across the NFL in the trade deadline. Thank you for being part of our Touchdown Kingdom family. We will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.